Paul Woods on the bottom of your screen, James Sanella, the new Sen City athlete on the top of your screen. James had to complete the whole course in his quarterfinal, but Paul only had to go half of the way. We will see if that makes a difference, but not so far as James seems to be taking an early lead. And I take that back. Oh. He got caught up in cargo chaos. Uh, this is why you should never underestimate a cargo net. Paul with a beautiful transfer and spin on that second wagon wheel takes a big lead right now. James already starting to fall behind here. He's going to have to go right for this boardwalk. Yeah, unfortunately, we still have a lot of course left, but you don't want your opponent to get too far ahead. He does make the vertical section. That's good news. Absolutely. And Paul through the rooftop, and he is definitely building up a lead right now. But he stops to chalk, perhaps knowing he had a lot more time to do so, and he's onto the flying fish. James still chalking up. And now he's starting to move. Yeah, James has a lot of work ahead of him. Paul Woods has a lot of experience on this course. He won the team competition yesterday. He's the number one seed coming in to the tournament today. Once again, different techniques on the girder we're seeing. Very interesting. Certainly a simple obstacle like that. There are a lot of different ways of approaching it. Now Paul, the early lead wow. here and immediately jumps into it. I love that jump, using the ledge behind him to gain some momentum and now slowing it down here a bit. James took a- Oh, wait a minute, there goes, oh. there goes James. And, and Paul that's... Woods has won this race. And he will fall at the two. end, but it will not matter. Paul Woods has won. He has secured his spot in the closed qualifier and he's on to the final. Wow, James, despite previous impressive runs, was unable to maintain the pace of Paul and ultimately was unable to complete the monster climb. Yeah, you could see right out of the gate, it looked for maybe two seconds like James was going to have this, but Paul doing what Paul Woods does, just coming in and blazing through this course, even though he fell at the very end, he still had a lightning fast pace through the rest of the obstacles, taking home the win, and James just never really had anything besides the start.